Hey there, Brett Jennings with Silicon Valley Real Estate Journal here. I want to welcome you back to the blog. Question this week is, what's crucial about this next 90 days in real estate as we enter the fall and winter months? Well, if you're a buyer or seller considering making a move, you're going to want to stay tuned. Before we answer the question, I want to point out some great free resources here on the blog. If you're considering buying, click the Search for Homes tab. That'll give you instant access to the MLS and much more accurate and timely information than you'll find on Zillow or Trulia. If you're considering selling, click on the Find My Home Value tab. This will give you an instant estimate of your home's value, which we can further refine for you at your request. Now, back to the question. What's critical about the next 90 days in real estate? Well, if you are a buyer, one of the things that we usually see this time of year is that inventory, or the number of homes on market, usually declines steadily as we go into the fall and winter months. As you'll see from the graph here, our inventory is remaining pretty consistent. This is because sellers have been motivated by the recent run-up in prices to put their homes on the market, so we have more inventory than we would otherwise at this time of year. Number two, price appreciation is slowing down. Prices are still high and they are still rising, but the market is slowing down a little bit. And number three, seasonal buyers are pulling out of the market. What I mean by seasonal buyers is, say a family that's been trying to get their into a new home by the time their kids start school, those buyers who weren't able to buy a home yet this year have all pulled out of the market. So effectively we have the same amount of homes on the market with fewer buyers competing. And this means a great opportunity for you if you're considering purchasing a home. And if you are a seller, there's a few things to consider. Number one, prices are at all time highs. As you'll see from the graph here provided by Zillow, we have just surpassed the all time highs that we experienced in 2005 for the Silicon Valley area. Number two, it is still a seller's market. Even though buyers have pulled back from the market a little bit, we have still are running at about one to two months of inventory depending on the area. Now, a seller's market is anything under six months of inventory, so the market is still very strong for sellers. And number three is interest rates. Interest rates are still relatively low. They haven't increased this year like we thought they would, but Fed Chair Yellen is saying 2015 is looking like a year where interest rates will increase. So, what does this mean for you if you're a seller? There's a window of opportunity between now and the end of the year where you can potentially pluck a high price out of the market while interest rates are still low and the market is still strong. It's anybody's guess what will happen in 2015 if interest rates start to rise. So there you have it. For buyers, there's a great window here with a little less competition in the market. If you're a seller, prices are still at all time highs and if you've been considering selling, it might be a time to consider getting your home on the market. If you have any questions about either buying or selling, be sure to reach out and connect. We'll be happy to help you. And this is Brett Jennings saying, we'll be right here, ready to help you create a better life through real estate.